Hey y'all, it is June 26th, um, cellular data off, hold on y'all, I just dropped JB off at summer camp. Speaking of, he's been telling me some things about the camp, and I, I do like that there's a lot more kids his age here, but he keeps talking about some bigger kids who are being a little bit rough, um, and I listen to him, absolutely, because he's my child. But I'm like, JB, what are you what are you seeing in response to these kids? And this is little kid stuff, y'all. It's like, uh, you know, he's playing with something and a, a, another bigger kid gets it and and plays with himself. And JB gets so upset that he's about to cry. So I ask him, I ask him like, well, are you seeing anything in response to the child that's taking your toys? Are you asking him? He's like, yeah, I'm asking him not to do that. So I can see he's a little sad and this is probably like the third time he's brought it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull him back a little bit. Instead of going three days, it's gonna go two days, which is fine y'all, um, because honestly, can y'all believe this? We got four weeks left to school. When I tell you this is Phoenix kids get out we get out earlier for school, but we start early. August 1st is when school start. It's June 26th. And I told y'all I went ahead and ordered his uniforms and um, his his school supplies. What the hell? And the funny thing about it, I'm like, okay, I need to look at my school curriculum that I had planned out for eight weeks. I'm like, girl, you ain't got eight weeks. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna look at it again. It was kind of stuffy here, y'all, hold on. I guess that's a little bit better. I'm gonna look at it again um, today and see what I could do to help him out because I think um, he's starting, most kids lose a little bit of what they learn throughout the year. So I want to reintroduce him to some things and then introduce him to some first grade, first grade level curriculum. Not a lot, I'm not over, over you know, welling my baby, but since now he's gonna be home three days out of that week, okay. And it's so funny, one of his friends, mom sent me a text message, and I told her ass to get it together. During school, she sent me a text message asking me, um, how many days is, when is JB going to summer, summer camp? I said, girl, JB's going to summer camp every week. And she's like, well, I was thinking about, you know, signing him up. I said, baby, you should have done that while we were in school. You know, enrollment, registration, the registration period is over. However, give them a call and see if you can, you know, I knew she wouldn't do it, y'all, because she's just that type of person. I told her, you know, give them a call Monday morning and see if you can get your child in. I knew she wouldn't do it, so I went ahead and followed up with her again today and was like, look, if you want me to keep your child some days, let me know. I'll be happy. I don't know why I do this stuff to myself, y'all. No, I damn well these kids be getting on my... <laughs> I said, but I said, no, um, if you want me to keep your baby, let me know. Um, I'm pulling JB out some days, and I'll be more than happy to keep him. Him and JB can play, and yeah. And so she asked me if I could keep him Friday. I said, absolutely. You know, I'll probably take him to an indoor playground. And yeah, they'll be fine. Um, yeah, it's getting hot. It's already almost 90 degrees out here. So I'm gonna head to the gym here soon. I've been looking at my videos, y'all. My arms look horrible. They look horrible because I've lost weight and the skin, see now the skin is doing this. Yeah, the skin is doing this when it really should be like this. So I need to be a little bit more consistent when it comes to my upper body. I've been doing cardio and lower body, but I need to get over it and do some upper body. At least um, rotate, I don't know what, I don't know, I need to get on a plan. I probably need to call my best friend and ask her. My best friend is really good about that. Her body's on point. She's, she's, I mean, she's not changed. So, when I tell you this this ninja it has worked my everlasting nerves. I don't know where that's from. Y'all, he has worked my nerves. Because I don't know, he got this, he got this almost fire underneath him to get stuff done around the house. And I appreciate it, but the summertime is a time to relax, in my opinion. You relax, we ain't relax, tidy up some stuff to get ready for the fall, right? Tell me why last week. Not even last week, a few days after the painting was done, like the very next day after the painting was done, he wanted to have the uh, windows in the back of the house tended. Fine, whatever, get it done. The hell was that? Birds flying, y'all. So got that done, fine, whatever. Then he's like, um, did you follow up with the uh, contractor about the guest bathroom? I ignored him. Let me show you what I did. I did. 
these are the best inventions. Let me, let me, let me show you what I did. When he said that, I, I... Do what? Mind you, the guy was really good. I mean, yes, he was awesome. But I don't want to deal with that right now. So when I get home, I kind of snapped when he said this. <laughs> Y'all, having your house done, any type of reconstruction or remodeling, it's stressful because you have all these people in your house and things are in a disarray. And he's not there to help me put the stuff together, right? So, um, I think I did snap. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, you know what, um, you, you need to give me some time because I, I he said, well, we're not going to get it done to July, but I just need to have, can you just ask him well, how much it would be and get an estimate? I said, no, I, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to. I'm still getting the house in order from the painting. I'm not, I don't want to do that. Let, let's stop. Give, give us a two to three week time gap before we go on to the, to the next house project because you're not here to deal with it. So no, I'm, I'm not gonna ask Ryan how much it's gonna cost to redo the guest bathroom. I don't care right now. I, I need a break because literally if we do that, this is what's gonna happen. And this is the reason why I don't wanna do it. And once we get that done, boom, school's gonna start. And then I have to do all the stuff. We get busy at my job during that time. I don't wanna deal with it. Let's wait till next summer. You know what I mean? Ciao. So anyway, y'all, uh, there's something else I want to tell y'all. I have a collaboration coming up. I need to go ahead and follow up with this person. I've been talking to her about everything but the collaboration, y'all. I don't know if other YouTube, I know that other YouTubers talk to other YouTubers, but I talk to them about YouTube stuff, but then sometimes I just talk to them about personal stuff. I just, you know, I'm the type of person that check up on people to see how they're doing. Um, a couple other, a couple of YouTubers have my phone number, at least three or four of them have my phone number. And there are people y'all know yeah y'all know up in these streets but you know i think at the at the end of the day because i vlog you guys can get that personal side of me but some of these youtubers that i talk to they don't vlog so i just want y'all to realize that we are people we are you know we have a life outside of this and it could be a lot it really can i was talking to someone today and she's feeling overwhelmed with her personal life and she's like, I, I just basically she doesn't have really have time for YouTube. She does it because she has this audience and this large following, but this is why I be taking breaks. I know sometimes a, a lot of you, you know, y'all support me during my breaks, so thank you for that and I do appreciate it. But I be this close every other month wanting to take a break. Like seriously, um, because I hadn't been consistently recording, I basically have to record three to four videos this week and then edit those videos plus two of JB's videos. Mind you, my baby has a channel too. He has like 88 subscribers, but still. Plus edit his videos. So I have five videos in queue I have to edit. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. And honestly, <clears throat> That's one of the reasons why I've been minute down this window. That's one of the reasons why my videos have been shorter in the past because I've been just wanting to get them out. But I'm trying to make my videos five minutes or more. Minimum five minutes. If I could do eight to ten minutes, great. Because this is a thing for us YouTubers. If we could do over ten minutes, then we could do more ads. Oh yes, I'm getting my coins. Okay, I'm, I'm getting my money up, all right? So if I could push that, stretch that video out to 10 minutes, then I could put multiple ads. Now, I'm not the type of person, and I be side-eyeing some of these people, putting five, six, I feel a, a certain way putting three ads, let alone five or six. Are you serious? I think the most I've ever put, like I'll do two ads and then one after or one or one before. I'm not doing no more than three ads in my videos. If you see more than three ads, you need to let me know. Cause that's ridiculous um but i guess girl do whatever you want to do but i do see uh a lot of youtubers going not a lot but the ones that i follow they're shifting Lair gardon has definitely shifted her entire channel but she had a problem with a stalker with a couple of stalkers actually Lair gardon she's a young lady out in atlanta her channel has completely shifted but it's kind of favorite i personally liked her vlogs because i is she had some interesting life to me um but she does more of a gossip like type of channel nappy had a jojoba her channel has shifted i know some of her subscribers up, upset with her over some of her recent content y'all i should have taped this but i wasn't sure how it's gonna turn out those of you've been following me for a while i eat meatless meal probably meatless meals 
probably three days out of the week to be quite honest and so this is very good so far <laughs> this is couscous and I got this recipe from another YouTuber I saw a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember her name. She's natural hair too. Um, she's she's vegan, I believe. And so this is chickpeas and a creamy uh, spinach sauce. She didn't add spinach to hers. This is roasted tomatoes. And this is um, coconut milk in here, unspeaking coconut milk. It looks this color because I added turmeric. Um, yeah, very, very good so far. Enough for two or three days. Hey y'all, I'm in my she room. I'm about to do some planning, girl. You know what, JB was like, um, will you be filming back here recording? I'm like, JB, you may have a point, but you know what? Because we put a um, tint over the, it's like 75%, I asked for like that dark. It's dark. It's not bright, bright. So I can't do hair videos or anything like that. Um, Y'all, I just got off the phone with someone. I accidentally called her, actually. And I'm gonna try to be very careful, as discreet as possible, because like I said, you never know who'll be watching your channel, girl. Um, the world is small too, y'all, it really is. Um, I accidentally called her, Facebook called her, and she's my homeboy's wife. Well, was my homeboy, I don't no longer talk to him. Someone I used to go to school with, college with, etc. And um, I linked up with her on Facebook, because I'm like, you cute, you know how to cook. You from the country? I like you. Let's be friends, right? And I talked to her more so than he, he, him, excuse me. So last year, she posted, let, let me just say this. We all know. This is what, I have a hate love relationship with social media. Clearly, I'm on YouTube. I blog. I do reviews. But I rarely post on Facebook. I post on Instagram. I'm, I'm, I think I'm semi-private. Y'all never see my husband. I talk about how he's getting on my nerves, which by the way, thank y'all so much for those of you who are married on my last vlog saying, yes, girl, my husband gets on my nerves too. Those of you who've been married 20, I had a couple of y'all been married 20 plus years. Hey man, that is really a blessing, but I'm glad you have uh, confirmed my suspicions of your, your, your man getting on your nerves, girl. <laughs> but I'm so grateful for him in the same breath, especially after speaking to the sister. So. There's a reason why I accidentally called her too, because that speaking to her actually made me more appreciative and humbled myself. You see how God works, works, humbled myself in the marriage I'm in. Anyway, so about a year ago, she had posted on, on Facebook this long, not really long, but a quick post about how, in short, her husband, the guy I know had been beating on her, being emotionally abusive and cheating on her. And I was like, what? And the, it was a huge thread because she has his family members and her family members on her page. Clearly it's, it's Facebook, 50 comments in. I didn't even bother to read it all. I sent her a message and was like, is this true? And she gave me some details. Um, they're both, they're a good looking couple. They have beautiful kids. They make money. They had a business together. Or I think it's, you know on the off end um you know and i'm thinking i'm looking at this this you know this stuff on on their posts excuse me and i'm like wow this is a beautiful young black family making it happen with their kids building a legacy and he's in the background doing all this stuff wow i mean like i said the stuff she told me today i was like wow girl wow like i am appreciative of my husband even though he gets on my nerves I can deal with him. I'm very thankful. I can hear him in there now. He went got some groceries. He better have got me some snacks. <laughs> see, see how I am, y'all. Uh, but y'all, big girl, I am grateful for a uh, non-dramatic. Very grateful. You see, I changed my tune that fast. God will definitely put some people, situations, and show you that you need to sit down, girl, and hush. It. Hey, y'all. Um, y'all like this shirt? The children's place has um, clothes for sale and like mommy and stuff. So I got this shirt for me, girl. For me, for me. Gotta lock the door, girl. Gotta lock. Yeah. You know what? Y'all know where I'm at. I was in here earlier doing my makeup. Um, why was JB passing notes under the door? Like, like we in prison. I 
told him you 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 don't need to be passing notes under the door because I'm not opening up the door. I had to do my makeup, just a little makeup. Waiting on this baby to get here, his little friend. I don't know why I do this, y'all. Low key, I really don't care for kids. I know some of y'all like that. What? Let me explain myself. I love babies. I love. I love a baby. I love a good chubby baby girl. Um, matter of fact, and you, those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw my post. About two two times out of the week, I'll go over to Miss Lori's house and hold those babies, girl. I get those babies, especially when I had big titties. I get those <laughs> Vivian, clean up, you know. Especially when I had big breasts when I was, you know, larger on top. Um, I would get those babies and I would hold them close and yeah, they'd be screaming and crying. I am I'm patient because they ain't mine. And when, when it was JB, I had a problem. But they ain't mine, my ass can go home, rock them to sleep. They crying, you know, but after a while, done. They go to sleep. And I think a lot of it has to do with your energy, the type of energy. They over there, they're done. They're stressed the hell out. But I come over there looking all, like I said, looking all chocolate and happy, you know, fluffy. <laughs> anyway, but my cutoff for ages around seven or eight. Around seven or eight, they start feeling themselves, especially the girls, getting an attitude. Eight or nine, the girls, eight, nine, ten, the girls start showing their ass. I can deal with six and under, the, the kindergarten, even seven, like first grade and under, it's adorable. But after that, I have problems. So, um, the little boy that's coming over is one of JB's good friends. They really do like each other. He's from his classroom. And the mom, did I ever already mention this? I don't know. The mom had contacted me. Well, first of all, while school was in, she was like, when is JB going to summer camp? I said, when? He's going every week. You know, there ain't no break. So she was like, isn't it expensive? I'm like, are you in my wallet? Okay, don't, don't be that way, baby. But I'm like, yes, it's expensive, but y'all, we are very blessed. Again, call me the overprotective mommy, but I think JB is too young to go on a field trip by without me. Once he's seven, you know, eight, nine, okay. I would never forget that, that year, summer, where they had accidentally left the little boy on the school bus. It was a daycare, and they actually went out on a field trip. They left that baby on the bus. This was in Houston. Do y'all remember this? They left that baby on the bus, and unfortunately, he died. When I heard that, I was like, my child is never going on a field trip without me until he gets of of a certain age you know what i mean um and so what really got me nervous is said he said mommy the the place was so long this was last week when they went on the field trip he said the place was so long that i fell asleep on the bus and my husband and i were like did anyone wake you up he's like yeah they called my name and i woke up but he said he was also at the back of, of the bus by himself i said no absolutely not yeah he won't be doing field trips at all at this camp and he won't be doing them unless i go um and i have showed up so yeah anyway Today we are going to be going to an indoor playground and because I'm greedy and I plan my days, I plan my food around where I'm going. So I already know the kids will probably eat McDonald's. Yeah, I don't eat McDonald's. I go there, I'll probably eat a fry every now and then, you know, I run the menu. I don't eat those burgers. I'll eat a chicken nugget probably three times out of the year. McDonald's is disgusting, but these little kids like it. I love the sweet tea and when they used to have that coffee, hell yes, but I just stick to a fry every now and then and some tea. Now, what they do have around there is a Popeyes. Y'all, the times I have had Popeyes are the times you see me on here. Like I don't I don't I don't do Popeyes. I'll do Raisin King and Chick Raisin King. Raisin Cane and Chick-fil-A over Popeyes. Especially look, I haven't had Popeyes, especially when that little girl posted the video. Was it on Instagram? She posted a video like the, the cockroaches were like twerking in the flower or some shit. The Popeyes was filthy. There was flour everywhere, flour on the floor, pans of food in wrong place, not at the right temperature. I kid you not, I saw roaches in the corner like pop locking and dropping it. I am, I <laughs> Seriously, ever since that video, yeah. And that's, I, I'm very careful about what I eat and what I eat out. So we ain't going nowhere tomorrow. Sunday, I have my brunch girl going to a brunch. Uh, and my neighbors, y'all, my neighbors love JB. When I tell you they love JB, well, I asked JB, who do you want to go to? You know, them or your friends? He's like, oh, I want to go over their house. These are my neighbors from East Texas, too. They're from um, Paris, Texas. So, anyway, 
and she said they're gonna spend time at the clubhouse so that's adorable and i really do appreciate them they always offer to keep jb but i didn't want to you know how sometimes i don't know y'all i'm the type of person i first of all i'm very careful who who will keep my child you can't be trusting these people like seriously all these people who turn out to be pedophiles i remember once let me tell this story and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in the living room and wait for these people. I can see them right here if they show up. My first ever manager, actually, she uh, was my first manager at UNT. You see that? You see? You see the lock? JB, I'm, I'm waiting for them, okay? I'll let you know when they get here, okay? I love it! So anyway, my first manager at UNT, um, she had access because she had certain access because she worked for the school for the university for the college excuse me she had access to the child sex offender site that like the official texas site so she's like vivian i want to show you something yeah she was petty and i was here for it she was only in her 20s i was like 19 at the time i'm like what's going on brenda she said let me show you something she pulled up one of our co-workers son on a child and when you pull it up on there it has a picture it has a fence it has the time they serve then it has the age of the child when i told you i got sick to my damn stomach over this stuff she's like that's not even nothing that's her son her her husband is also on the list i said are you freaking serious she's like yeah she's like give me give me your um give me your boyfriend's name i'm gonna pull him up i'm gonna see if he's on here I'm gonna run background checks. I said, absolutely. Girl, at the time I gave her who, who I was dating, I gave her this ninja's name. Oh, I wasn't playing. I gave her his name and his brother's name because this is, this is when we were just, we were, actually, then we were friends. Uh, friends with, um, I'm just gonna say it, friends with benefits. Can I say that on my channel? It's my damn channel. Yes, I can. <laughs> we were just friends, my husband and I, because this is college. We were all friends then. But I had her to look him up. He was clean. But then I had her to look up my uh, my girlfriend's husband. Oh, I had her looking up everybody. I was, we were nosy. He came up, y'all. And this was the thing. He was 20, 19. No, he was like 20 at the time. And it was statutory rape. The girl was 17. And so I told her, I, I was like, look, Crystal, I'm let you know, I found your boyfriend on the site. And I had my, my boss to print out his sheet. I said, I found your boyfriend on the site, but I'm going to let you know right now. I think this is a situation of the parents probably charge, you know, press charges. I don't think that he actually, it was statutory rape. So she was 17. He was 20, 21. I think it was like 21, you know. It happens, y'all, unfortunately. And so, but she was so disgusted by that that she broke up with him. She was like, I can't believe that he he you know he's on the sex offender list and so do your back look especially in this day and age you have to do background checks on all not only do you have to do background checks like that you have to ask people for their sexual status like i i'm so glad i'm not dating in 2019 like i don't know how to go i, I wouldn't know how to go about that and i'm pretty sure those of you you're like girl it's better to be single i don't blame you that's me Why are you helping and puffing? Open it up. Open it up. You, want, you need help opening up yours, Shaby? You need help? Yeah. Be careful with the camera. I'm recording. Okay? Oh, hey. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Yeah. I'm so over it. We're at McDonald's. I'm, I'm talking to my I'm talking to my people, baby. He wants to say hi. He wants to say hi. You want to say hi, Landon? I'm, uh, you know, I have a YouTube channel. Too. Hi. You know what, y'all? <laughs> All of us have YouTube channels. Landon has one. You have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what, y'all? I'm going to put you in a headlock. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Went to Popeye's. Oh, I got tickets too. Okay, baby. Shh. Had my mouth all set for Popeye's, right? I ordered a three piece with mashed potatoes. Hold on, baby. I'm, I'm recording for them. Yeah. But I'm Why did I get here? And the chicken's old. They give me mac and cheese. <laughs> my sweet tea is not sweet. 
and then my food was absolutely good. My and food is absolutely good. My food was absolutely good. You you cannot leave, believe what I saw. Mm. What did I Don't stop? get too close to the I cannot screen. wait to get home and pour my stuff up a drink. How <laughs> Lena to help you? Ciao. Lena, help, help him attach that. How do, I How do you attach this? I can do it. So, I'm gonna trust but to eat some raggedy old McDonald's. <laughs> My mama dad. This is the only thing that's good. This is the only thing that's good from Popeyes. It's pepper. You better be careful, baby. So, at McDonald's, we made a secret place right down deep below. Show them right down deep below. Y'all, I just got this out the crock pot. I didn't feel like slaving over the stove. This is so good. Let me tell you what this is. First of all, most of the stuff I cook, I get inspiration from Pinterest. I look at a recipe from Pinterest and I have a pretty good memory. I can look at something once and done. I can basically recreate it. So what this is, is basically this is a coconut curry chicken with cabbage. Excuse me, baby, with cabbage. Now this is low carb. Yes, keto friendly. Let me tell you what it is. A lot of ingredients. I'm gonna take my time and, and tell you. So in case you wanna, JB, in case you wanna write it down. Okay, girl, are you ready? Half of the half of a diced onion, one tablespoon of ginger, uh, two garlic cloves chopped up, uh, two tablespoons of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, don't have to do it. A bag of baby carrots, half a bag of baby carrots. Uh, I did add one potato. You don't have to do it if you want to. If you want it to be low carb, half a head of cabbage, two chicken breasts, um, half a cup of coconut milk, half a cup of chicken broth. All right. So these are the the um, seasonings: onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, curry powder, cumin, salt, pepper, paprika. Was there something else? Turmeric. That's why it's yellow. Turmeric. I just dropped this all in the crock pot. No order, no nothing. On low, excuse me, on high for three hours and then on low for one or two hours. Look at how tender this is. It is so flavorful. Hey y'all, I am leaving the event, the brunch. It was okay, you guys. I feel like this brunch was more so, I didn't know there was a theme or if it was a theme, but I feel like it was more so for business owners. So there was a lot of stuff that was very interesting, but I don't know. Y'all like my earrings? <laughs> I don't know. Um, the food was a no for me. So I'm gonna be stopping by Raise the Cane to give me one chicken tender. Real chicken tender really is for JB. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to sorry y'all. And yeah, um, y'all sorry. Let me go over here and park somewhere and get out the way because I'm just in the middle of the garage um but it was funny because i was just talking to a sister from georgia she just moved she moved she was in phoenix moved back to georgia moved back and i said well how do you like it because y'all some people from the south has have a hard time adjusting to, to phoenix i'm just gonna be honest and so she was telling me some issues she, she's been having on the job and i just let her know look in the south the people that know they're racist, and they're racist. They're gonna call you, you know, you color. I know you color. That's the type of, you know, racism out here. There's a passive aggressive type of racism. I'm not racist because I work with my friend Shaquita. And by the way, you remind me of Shaquita. I love black people. I work with them. That type of passive aggressive, saying dumb stuff on the job. So she was giving me an earful of some stuff that's happened. Shout out to Miss Brittany who just moved here back here from Georgia. But baby, that's how it is at some places, not all places here. But you think Texas has a bunch of Trump supporters? Phoenix, there are a lot of Trump supporters. So that should tell me. And you know what? Let me tell you. And it, it doesn't who you who you support or whoever uh, politically. You know that's your business. But out here, they make it known that they love Trump girl so anyway let me hush up y'all i'm gonna go ahead and pick up jb jb apparently is having a great time with my neighbors and i'm gonna pick him up some dinner and we're gonna go ahead and go home i'm gonna make you know i think i'm just gonna go straight home i'm gonna go ahead and make um uh what am i gonna make i'm going to make some nachos just got jb back from my neighbor so how was the golfing baby mm. 
looking good. Good. I can see you got a tan of your chocolate self. You got you a little tan. I got him some raisin cane. Even though they went to McDonald's, they love them some JB. So they took JB, um, my neighbors from Paris, Texas, took him to a golf course they're members of and the club. You guys go to the clubhouse. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That's what you meant. It wasn't Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, baby. It was a golf clubhouse. Did you see Mickey Mouse there? Mm hmm. Disney. You know what? Y'all see his hair? His hair is growing. You can tell. All Mickey right. Mouse. Look at his little. I got Mickey Mouse hat. You got a Mickey Mouse hat? No, I, I gave Mickey Mouse a hug. You gave Mickey Mouse a hug? Just did it. You know what? <laughs>